All right. So in this video of Nomad Skull, we're gonna do a push pin. Um, so I uh, did a little profile here on the image reference, uh, the front, the side, top, and then like a 3D little view. Um, one thing we did find out is when we broke it down, there's like three little parts to it. So like a little cylinder with like broken sections, hollowed out. Um, and there's also, um, we call it like a triangle base and then like the little, the little metallic pin things. So we're going to do that, uh, do one piece at a time. This will make it easier and faster to make our push pin with in the, in Nomad Sculpt without wasting too much time. So hope that process helps you. Uh, and it's really up to you how you want to do it. Sometimes, you know, you might just want to chill and, uh, do it from like, from memory or stuff like that. But if you want to progress a little faster, use references, do little profiles like this, it'll help you develop your skills a lot faster. Well, I hope it does. <laughs> All right. So let's get started. Let's, let's go with the base. So we go to scene box. Um, let's see, let's make this a little bigger. Oh no wider in this way two is good okay validate well uh let's make it a triangle so we'll trim uh we can do a line i guess mm, no i guess we can do a lasso with symmetry It's not bad. All right. Um, we'll make that our triangle. Now let's copy that because we have to hollow it out. Um, use the gizmo on that. Oh. So let's see. Stretch it out. Make it thinner this way um yes so that works like that okay that's good and then if we want to what call it if you want to like cut it out make sure you we call it uh take it out from from visibility make sure both things are selected and then go to voxel merge and there Get that gets taken out but we still need that little piece on top so let's add another little triangle to cut that out so go to insert box oh make sure it's there's no symmetry here. Of course, we're just going to do one big one. Front. That's about right. All right. Then go to your side. Stretch out. And then again, take it away from visibility. Make sure both selected and do a box of merge and that's how you cut them out all right sweet we got our base now name it we have to do the little what do you call it little cylinder parts on the side so we add insert Cylinder. Oh, and you gotta make oh no, just we'll just make one. Alright. Let's see. Uh smaller, thinner. This should be good. Um, I 
Okay, accept, because we can always change it later. Go to Gizmo. Uh, let's see. Center. There it is. Okay. So it's probably facing us. Go right here. Then we can go to transform. Let's take things out. Scale it. That's good. Then move. All right, then. And we will gizmo scale it this way. Oh, left, okay. That's good, okay. All right, proper position. Um, now we need to copy that because remember the middle part. Uh, there's no, nothing there. Or actually, we need to hollow it out first. So yeah, let's do that. All right, so clone it. Stretch it out. Transform, scale. That's a good way to see it, okay. Then let's haul it out, take it out of visibility, box of merge. And there we have it. Hauled out. Um, now we need to, let's add another cylinder or actually, yeah. Insert cylinder. Doesn't matter how big it is, we're just honestly gonna cut it. So, validated. Uh, transform. Let's move it. Okay, let's go away. Some tree. Unfortunately, All right. All right, that's good. Okay, right. so then that's probably lined up. Let's make this a little bigger. That is good. Okay. That's good where it is. Yeah. Okay. Then let's haul that out. So take that out. Make sure that's both selected. Sweet. Okay. Um, as you can see over here on our design, it does have like this little like triangular, flat triangular thing. But we can ignore that. Let's not overcomplicate our lives. If you want to do that, you're more than welcome to do that. Okay. We've hollowed it out. Let's clone. Actually, we can clone it, yes, but let's use what we learned before. Uh, we'll remove this to the left, and there we have it. Front, sweet. So we it. And we do have to remember that this is part of the base, so now we have to <clears throat> simple merge or we can box and merge it's really up to you um we're just going to do a simple merge for now all right so and then 
this will be renamed our base. But there, we've done two parts. And we got them all together. Um, so now for the last part, those pins, we're gonna do something similar at the end where we just um, copy it, but okay. Go to the left, shrink it down. We are gonna do R2. So, or do you want to do lathe? Mm. Both, both, both should work, okay. But let's do two, okay, so. See? All right, so let's go back again. Remember, it doesn't look great, but we can. That should fit in there. We can use this path tool to move, make this look a little way, way better, hopefully. Um, okay. That's good. Let's just work on this now. It's not terrible. Okay, so validate. Then let's move that with gizmo. See, it's in there. All right. Then let's copy that front. All right, let's mirror that. World, that's the axe, plane of axis right there. Then left to right, yes. And there we have it. We have built our uh, push pin or push clip, right? <laughs> Why am I say push pin or whichever you it's named? Anyway, um, and let's see. We can go a little further if you like. Uh, now that we've built our model, uh, name it. Let's see. Pins. Um, We can color if we like. So what we can do is go to pins, go to paint. This is just extra. You can ignore this if you like. You do that. I saw a metallic one. Guess not. Uh, a little gray. Yep. Forest paint. Then the body or the base paint. Oh, all right. Um, we'll do like a nice blue. Yeah, paint all. Or actually, we can do something different. So instead of Mad Cat, we do PBR. Um, let's see, it looks a little different, shinier. Uh, let's go to our pins. Go to here. Oh, there's our metallic. Okay. Uh, let's do gray. Force paint all. So. Yeah, looks a little more realistic. So there you have it, our push pins with metallic surface paints. All right, uh, best of luck. If you have any questions, leave some comments. If you have any suggestions for other videos, uh, 